Hi you two and welcome to Writing for Wednesday. This week we're going to continue our exploration of Simcoe and Poems, but instead of me giving you a topic this week, you guys are going to be able to choose any topic that you would like. We're going to make sure um, that we use the same structure for planning and then composing and publishing that we did last week. Um, so today your task will be to decide on a topic for your poem and then come up with a word vocabulary list that has verbs, adjectives and nouns or naming words. Um, I've chosen um, this week for my poem to be about sloths. Now I know last time we were in continuous learning I was very very focused on chameleons and the groovy pickup spiders. Um, this time um, because one of my students is actually very very interested and she's actually a bit of an expert on sloths um, had me um, really wanting to go and investigate and find out more about these crazy creatures. Um, so I've actually already started my vocab list and I've come up with all of the words that I can to think about um, helping me to describe um, slots, things that they do and what they look like. Um, so I've got a couple of things that I'd like to add. So I've talked a little about how they're um, lazy. I'm not really sure that they're lazy, but they don't move a lot. They're slow, they're cute, that they have claws and toes, but they're furry. Three things that I'd like to add that I'm really going to be using in my poem are that they like to hang upside down. So I'm going to write upside down. They do like to hang upside down and they sleep a lot. The next um, part of my vocab list, I'm going to combine it with a word that I already have. So I already have the word leaf. No, I don't. I have the word trees. So I'm actually going to write leaf and then munching because I'd like to include that in my sentence. Now you can see that I've added the suffix in to the end of the word munch. I'm going to underline the base word and I'm left with my suffix. Now when you're um, decoding the word suffix as you will be in your spelling task this week, I want you to be thinking about the different sounds that you can hear and it helps me when I'm trying to decode to figure out how many sounds there are in a word to say the word out loud and to use my phone in bits. So we'll use our sound piece the way that we would at school. So we have munch, m, a, n, ch, there's a digraph there, and in, i, n. So I'm actually going to show you where um, those sounds are. The E is a sound on its own and N and G combine to make one sound. We call that a digraph. We know that the digraph mm. So munching. So we've got leaf munching and something that they really love to do. They love to sunbake. So I'm going to write the word sunning. And you can see that I've used that suffix again there. I've added ing on to the end, but I'd like to draw your attention to the double consonant that I have in the middle of that word. Now, my base word is sun, and I've added, I wanted to write the word sunning. So I'm sure that you can remember when we're um, adding ing here to um, a word, when we have a short vowel sound, we need to double the consonant. So that short vowel sound is a. Uh, sunning. So we need to have a double consonant before we pop the suffix on. Well done, guys. So your job today is to choose a topic. And then I would like you to record a vocab list um, with all of the words that you can think of to help you describe um, your topic, including action words. So um, including verbs and naming words or nouns. And adjectives are um, the describing words. I'm not sure if you guys can hear this week. Instead of a saxophone, we have an electric guitar. Jack Ray's in the next room having a guitar lesson and actually playing a song that he wrote himself. He's playing it very loudly. I hope you can hear it. Have a great day writing, guys. Can't wait to see what um, your writing task will like at the end of the week. Tomorrow we'll be using our vocab list to start writing our singing poem with the correct story.
strategies that we used last week. Okay, guys, have fun.